Welcome to Uncle's channel. Thanks for watching today. And the Team NT 40th anniversary is in high gear right now, which means you have lots of figures that have either already come out or are coming out very shortly in celebration of this monumental occasion. And uh, they pretty much span all different iterations of the Team NT, all the way from like the sketch art to the original Mirage comics to the 87 cartoon to like the 2003 cartoon to the Tales of the Team NT and everything in between. And so I'm going to try to divide the video up by like different iterations of the turtles and sort of group them together as far as like what's coming out. But there is one I want to talk about first because I am so excited about it and I think it's what's going to be on every single TMNT collector's list and that is going to be the reissue of the classic Technodrome playset from the uh, 87 cartoon and uh, this is an Amazon exclusive and it's going to run you $80 and it will say on their website at the moment temporarily out of stock but trust me it's not out of stock all they've done is simply run out of the original release of it and you can still click add to cart buy now and when it gets back in stock they will ship out your uh, playset here which means you probably won't get it within like the first two weeks of its release but you will eventually get it and you'll be able to display your action figures with it and truly take part in the original Technodrome uh, playset from back in the day now they don't have any pictures of it up here however like judging from the other re-releases they've done the classic turtle figures and the classic turtle vehicles it's going to be very similar if not exactly the same as the original one i know when they re-released the uh, turtle van it was pretty much identical in every single way except maybe like missing a couple like stickers or like paint on it in certain places and when we released the uh, turtle blimp it was um, a little more different on the turtle blimp and so that's why i say like it's probably gonna be very similar to the original but it's not going to be exactly the same if i was guessing and that'd be some small separation between the original one for collectors and this reissue and so um but if you're just displaying for your figures you know you know have it on your shelf and things like that no one's going to know except for you and it will look awesome with all of your turtle display and so like i said 80 dollars, a great buy on that and i get no kickback from any of this i'll put the links down in the description down below they're not even affiliate links so i literally get nothing from it i'm just an excited team and t fan and want to share out what's uh, coming up uh, shortly here. Now the next one we're going to talk about, we're going to go back to the very original TMT iteration and it's going to be the uh, sketch art for the turtles and they are releasing action figures to uh, basically go with the original artwork for the turtles here. Now these are going to be Target exclusive and so you can only get through their website or if you simply go into the store itself and they have not released officially yet so they're not on the website. However, like I've seen all kinds of stuff on like turtle groups on Facebook and such as that and people are actually finding them in the Target stores already. I went to my local Target, I looked for them, they are not there as of yet but I do know for a fact some people are already picking these up at their individual stores. Now um, these figures do look really cool. Um, I would change one thing about them. I would not let all the turtle bandanas be the um, different colors. They should all be red because it's the original sketch artwork for the turtles. And I don't really know why they did it this way because like everyone who's going to collect this individual iteration of the turtles is going to know that they should be all red instead of multicolored. But at the same time, it's still pretty cool to see a very first time the sketch action figures have uh, come over and been released here. And so um, those are going to be at Target. I think they're, I think, $11.99 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. And I think some people actually got them on sale. Like, for some reason, they're on sale, like the turtle sale last week. But um, $11.99 is probably what most people are going to be able to pick it up for. And like I said, they're not available yet on the um, website, but they are available in certain stores across the United States here. Now, if you want to continue off the uh, original comic book design, we're going to go to Mirage Comics next. And they are releasing the uh, action figures for the original Mirage comic. And so uh, these here come in two different versions. You can get the black and white version, or you can get the um, all red bandana colorized version. Now, personally, I would rather have the all black and white one. And these are going to be Walmart exclusives, I believe, or I've only seen them at Walmart thus far. And I've only seen the ones that are not black and white. And so I didn't pick any of them up because I'm more interested in the black and white ones. But uh, they are out there. I would assume they have all the normal points of articulation for every other turtle figure that's coming out uh, you know, fairly recently here. But these are out. I think they cost about $10 a piece, if I'm remembering correctly, from what I saw at Walmart. But uh, they are at least out. I don't think they're on the website, though, as of yet. But let's move on past the Mirage comics. Let's go into the 87 cartoon. And they're doing Wave uh, 3, I guess. Or is it Wave 4? I think it's Wave 3. Uh, yes, wave three of the action figures here of the original reissues of the 1987 cartoon. And so we have four different ones we're getting here. We're getting Rat King, Casey Jones, Mutagen Man, and uh, hang on, hang on, and Slash as far as the reissues go. But um, these are not going to be like perfect. I've looked at them here, you know, the reissues. The paint job, just like all the other reissues, is just simply a little bit off in a lot of figures. And I even noticed like they're uh, omitting part of the weapons on some of the figures as well. For what reason? I have no clue. 
But um, I did go through them pretty uh, in depth here to look at it. When you're looking at Casey Jones, Casey Jones, as far as um, the figure itself, looks pretty accurate. But they are leaving out the little uh, blue streaks in his hair here that he's supposed to have on the original figure. And you can sort of compare the two. I'll put them on the uh, screen here at the same time. And also his little uh, white paint job for his uh, hoodie tie that's not on the new figure. And so um, I think that's the only main differences here. But, you know, the paint jobs on these reissues are never quite as good as they were on the originals. But, hey, you know, you're still getting a original figure or a original feeling figure. And most people are probably not going to notice the differences too much. And then you have Mutagen Man. Now, Mutagen Man, I have always adored. One of my favorite action figures growing up. Just such a crazy, wicked toy here. And um, it's almost the same. Almost. But there is uh, one difference. The, the parts that float around inside of Mutagen Man. In the original, you got eight different, or I'm sorry, seven different pieces that float around inside him and in the reissue you only get six pieces and the one that's missing oddly enough is a little bitty turtle so like why do they omit the turtle from the reissue as far as like what's floating around inside the Mugen man i don't know it's just a weird um, omission here like why omit uh, just one single of the pieces that float around i don't know just really odd now uh, rat king <clears throat> man rat king they they did a number on here because rat king uh in the original figure has red eyes and they even made it where he has these uh just regular old eyes and it Man, it's looking a little creepy here, and uh, they also changed some of the patches and whatnot as far as not coloring those correctly. And then you have Slash here, and Slash, for the most part, is pretty similar, but, like, when you look at his eye, like, wasn't the yellow part, like, covered the entire eye, and they left, like, a little bit of the white behind it, and it just doesn't look quite right. And I tried to find some figures uh, to compare it to, and from what I can tell, like, this is unique just to this new repaint job, uh, leaving a little bit of white there, but I could be wrong on that. Let me know in the comments down below. If I am wrong, I just simply could not find an image and my uh, my own personal slash figure is not handy at the moment for me to check on that. But the um, wave three of the reissues are out and we also have some more uh, reissues coming out and these are going to be the uh, sewer sports figures. And so you got like sewer surfing Mike here and I did have that figure growing up and I, I actually love that figure. Such a cool looking figure. You also have uh, Leonardo here as far as like hockey Leonardo. I'm sure there's like cool names. I know Donatello is also getting his re-release and I've actually seen that one in stores I believe. And that's going to be like the basketball Donatello. Not the giant one, just simply the small one. And um, I don't know what Raphael is. I've not seen anything about Raphael. I assume that's coming out. I don't know. And then let's move on to the uh, TMNT movie here. We are getting a villain release pack for the TMNT movie star Ninja Turtles, which came out in probably like 91, 92 for the action figures, if I was guessing. And um, most of them look pretty similar. Like the uh, Foot Soldier, pretty much spot on. The uh, uh, Razor, pretty much spot on. But my lord. Like, look at Shredder here. Like, what did they do to Shredder? Like, um, the paint job on the original Shredder. I'll put them side by side here. But the paint job for the original Shredder is uh, is pretty top tier. And then you have the new one. And, like, what, like, is something, like, just wrong with the company that can't do eyes anymore? They messed up the eyes for um, Rat King. They messed up the eyes here for Shredder. I mean, the whole mask just looks looks awful. Maybe they thought it looked more like the movie. I don't know, but it looks, um, it looks terrible. But, um, man, if you want to pick them up, go for it. But I probably will not be picking those up. And let's continue on here to the uh, Tales of the TMNT, which is the new television show that's coming out. I guess this is not technically part of the 40th anniversary, but we're going to throw it in here anyway. The uh, mix and match figures are up for pre-order on BigBadToyStore.com. And these will also be at Walmart and all the other places when they do come out. I don't have an exact release date on them, but you can at least pre-order them. And, of course, you can see these are the ones that all their you know individual pieces come off and be placed back together and mix and match. I've done an entire video on these, but we do have more of um, up-close personal looks and uh, box art for these particular turtles and the villains that are coming out. I will say, like, I'm really excited, like, Splinter here is actually going back to the original cloth robe. That's a, um, I don't know, that's a, that's a big deal to me because Splinter has always been uh, one of my favorites here. And then we do have some uh, odd ones here for Tales of TMNT. These are giant roll and punch figures, and I don't know. Most people are probably not going to buy these. I can't imagine collectors really won them, but hey, they are out there. And then there's one that I should have mentioned earlier because this definitely goes along more of the uh, 87 cartoon. And these are going to be what are called Mondo action figures. And um, I don't know really anything about the company Mondo, but they're sort of going with like an old style of soft vinyl Japanese figures. And these are pretty darn cool looking figures. And uh, we'll look at uh, Leonardo here and like the um, points of articulation look sort of basic, but the coloring here and like the vinyl artwork itself is just uh, phenomenal. And it looks absolutely amazing. Now the price point on these is really steep. It's like $100 for these. And uh, they're not coming out to October, but man, whew, they're, they're cool looking, but I can't justify that type of price there. 
But um, these are all the figures that I've noticed that are recently coming out or recently announced. There are a few uh, Super 7 figures that I've not put in this video. I'll sort of do like a, uh, maybe like a little slideshow here. The ones I didn't mention. I know uh, Triceraton is coming out with that. Uh, that, that monkey, uh, what's his name? General Gorilla, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he's got a re-release coming out with Super 7. And so there are a few of those. NECA is not really doing anything new at the moment with Turtles, which is surprising because NECA is always pumping out more turtles but uh here's all the stuff i could see for the 40th anniversary are these any that you are particularly interested in let me know in the comments down below um me personally probably most interested in the technodrome uh finally get that going for my turtle collection because i never had one growing up but if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel check out my other videos listed up above and go out there find a great game to play simply have a great rest of the day